Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back guys to Thorncraft 3. This is episode 9 I believe now and we're going to be hopefully moving on to ones. But of course anybody who's been watching my previous videos will know that sometimes I get into research that I don't necessarily intend on doing. Now, first thing I want to do is um, actually tell you guys about the this arcane furnace now somebody quite rightly has said in my video that these little holes are for arcane bellows um, I'm not quite sure is there one on the back yes there is one on the back as well those little holes are for arcane bellows and um, I totally forgot about it guys I did know about it but I've totally forgot about it so yeah that's what they're for them little holes there arcane bellows and we'll probably get to finding them you know in the in the future if not you well we may we may end up finding them in this episode you never know so the first things that we're going to get to are the wands of course okay so moving on to the wands guys uh, the well, we're going to try and hope for the wand of excavation the first one that we're going for now this actually has four different aspects precantatio instrumentum saxum and metallum. Now I actually got quite a bit of stick in my first videos for saying about um, metallum and for using ingots instead of using nuggets for metallum. Yes, you can actually get metallum from nuggets. I've never said that you can't get them from it, but what I've said is that uh, if you if you actually look at ingots, it gives you eight. Yes, you get nine nuggets per iron ingot so you do get more for your return don't get me wrong but it only gives you one point of metallum so y your research would actually go faster using ingots themselves and to be honest iron ingots especially if you've got mods installed are not exactly hard to come by so it's just really a you know it's a, it's a preference thing I like to use ingots but by all means you can use nuggets there really is nothing against that so let's go and uh, we've got some trapdoors in there from my last research let's go and put some arcane work tables in there you can see that that covers the precantatio as well as the uh, instrumentum right there so let's click on there and you can see already we've got two and it is the wand of excavation absolutely wonderful they're at hundred percent now brilliant let's get them out of there now it does require saxum also you can see the stone there and eventually we might get there, here we are lovely and we are now over 75% so metallum has made itself known there we are metallum and we got the wand of excavation guys brilliant a logical step in your exploration of magic would be to find a way to utilize it as a mining tool studying earth moving and mining tools should show you the way So pretty much self-explanatory there that is what we've just uh, sorry that one is what we've just re researched you can see it's the wand of the apprentice there along with three earth shards will get you the wand of excavation so the wand of excavation what does it do okay you can see I've got the wand of excavation in my hand right this very second and uh, there it is wand of excavation now what this actually works as is um, if you right click with it you can see that these nice little um, like particle effects coming out the end of it and it does actually work as a lovely little um, like strip mining tool but it does of course you can see here it does actually you know slow your speed but guys it does work as a lovely little strip mining tool because I can stand here and just go like that Whereas usually, doing this, you wouldn't be able to see that far down, so it would be a lovely strip mining tool to have at your disposal. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Now, I actually forgot to read the, inst uh, the instructions, the, well, like, 
inscription kind of description, whatever it is. Uh, I forgot to read that out to you. You have successfully adapted the enchantment on an apprentice wand. You have turned it into a tool capable of moving vast amounts of earth and stone with little effort. Simply point at it, whatever you want to excavate, uh, excavate and the magic does the rest. Tougher materials take longer to mine, and anything other than earth, stone, or similar materials will take much longer to mine. You can see it does require 16 metallum and 4 instrumentum, as well as 50 vis. So that's a hull of uh, and a wand there, a hull of a wand. And that is the wand of excavation. The next one that we're hopefully going to get to is the wand of fire. Okay guys, so we're going to move on to the Wand of Fire. Now this actually requires four different aspects. The usual Precantatio, of course, because it is a magic wand. You do need magic for that. You've got Fractus, as well as Tellum and Ignis. Now, there's two different ways that you can get this. You can either use Blaze Rods, which actually are a really good source of Ignis and Precantatio both. Or, if you don't have blaze rods or anything like that, you could use, I don't know, maybe magic tallow or the sandstone recipe that I've showed you before, as well as coal, because coal, of course, does have the ignis. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to be using blaze rods. So I'm going to put blaze rods in there, and I'm going to click, and you can see, lovely, we've got ignis, we've got Precantatio, and we have got the Wand of Fire. Very nice. It also has the Tellum aspect you can see there that is for the arrow sword and a weapon because that's what it's going to be used for from arrows and fractus is the last one you can see there we've already got it 75 percent but fractus is the last one lovely and you can see there you you think you might be able to adapt the enchantment on a normal wand turning it into a fire hurling weapon of destruction so let's grab that little scroll there right click it and we do have another wand to have a look at and you can see you have successfully adapted that um, it is now capable of sending forth a cone of elemental fire burning all in its wake however the wand has lost the ability to renew its charge and will eventually run out of energy and break you can see it's a wand of the apprentice with three fire shards and fifty vase with sixteen ignis and four tellum in a crucible and if we get the Wand of Fire, I can show you exactly what it does. There's the Wand of Fire. And if you right-click with the, Ronda, uh, the Wand of the Fire, uh, Wand of Fire, sorry. Look at that, guys. Look at this. It does eventually break, remember? Poor little rabbits. Just killed them. Never mind. Does it work on trees? I don't think it does work on trees, does it? Nope, doesn't work on trees, but it does, guys, work on animals, work on entities. So there you go, that is Wand of Fire. Right, so we're going to move on to the final wand of uh, this little video set, and the final one so far. And that is called the Wand of Lightning. Now this actually requires four different aspects yet again. It is Precantatio, Tellum, Potentia and Fractus. And I've got four different items. They, 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 I mean there could be other items out there that do use uh, the same kind of things. But uh, I'm going to use these ones and I'm actually going to put them all in at once to see if I can't get them all at once. Wand of Lightning. Lovely. There you are guys, that's how easy it is sometimes, and it looks like we're not getting that one, so I'm going to move it out so we can actually see that on the screen there, lovely. There you go. So you can actually use all items at the same time, you just got to make sure that it's on this screen at the, start, at the time. So, you think you might be able to adapt the enchantment on a normal one, turning it into a lightning hurling weapon of destruction. Brilliant. Much like... Get out of it. Much like the Wand of the Fire, a Wand of Fire, there we are, lovely. The Wand has lost its ability to renew its charge, you need Air Shards as well as the Apprentice Wand, with 50 Vs, 4 Tellum and 16 Potentia to get yourself the Wand of Lightning. So let's get ourselves the Wand of Lightning. There it is. And let's get rid of this annoying thing, where is it? Look at that guys, that is an amazing, oh look at these 
particle effects. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh my god. Come on, die. Die. God for that. <laughs> so guys, that is the wand of lightning. Absolutely brilliant stuff. I love the little particle effects and I love all that kind of stuff with Thorncraft. Everything, it never ceases to amaze me what Azanar has done here. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is these guys. These are warded jars. And that's going to be next. Okay, the warded jars require four different aspects. Tutaman, Vitreous, Vinculum and Vacuous. Now, I've got some items for you here guys. I've got the Vitreous I've also got the leather which is going to be the Tutaman. I've got the Vinculum which is the shackles like thing. And I've also got the vacuous part of these chests here. So what am I going to use to actually try and do this? Well I'm going to use these two together to see if we can't get them at the same time. And it looks like we may have just done so. Warded jars, lovely. We've got the vitreous and the vacuous there. So let's stick them in, make sure that they're both on the same page, they are. So there's that, and the vinculum. Like I said, once you've, you, once you've got it, you could take that out and then just use that. You know, you don't have to waste your leather like what I've just done there. So, warded jars. Let's have a look at this little description. You think you may have discovered a way to reinforce glass with magic. Crafting a container from this glass could theoretically keep all manner of things inside. Warded jars. Lovely. I've just read that one. So, warded jars. Let's have a look at the quick description here, guys. You have discovered a way to craft mystical containers reinforced with magic. These warded jars can keep almost anything contained within them, and things that cannot normally be contained. The warded jars are also capable of strong essentia that can be filled from essentia vials. They also act as an essentia source for infusion altars. If you have some automated way of gathering essentia, you can mark the jars in the usual manner to have them automatically refilled. What is more, they make an excellent storage medium for jars, end preserves, jams on pre I don't know if that's meant to be French. Anyway, warded jar there, 20 vase, one of these arcane wood blocks and glass panes in an arcane work table and you've got yourself a warded jar. The warded jars themselves, by themselves, can actually be uh, used at the, at the moment. Um, if we get ourselves some warded jars, what I will do is keep some to one side though. I'm going to keep some one on there. And I love the little, look at that. In fact, it, it moves when you hit it, and it moves to the side that you... Oh, bloody hell. Got a bit of a lift there, and it moves to the side of which you hit, and I think that's a little, a great little touch. I'm going to put some you know, all over the place, which is brilliant. Uh, but we'll get more into these warded jars after we find the other research which comes after the warded jars, and that is basic flux research. Now, this one's quite a, uh, a long one to go by, so... Let's get straight on with it. In fact, you know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to leave it right there for this episode. I've covered all of the ones, and I've also covered the warded jars as well. We are going to get on with doing the basic flux research, and that will add such items as the arcane alembic, as well as the flux filter, which the flux filter needs to be used in the arcane alembic, and the arcane alembic can be used for a really, really, really good purpose that I really want to try and give it like its own episode to begin with. But we'll see anyway, guys, because um, we may even get into Warded Stone. We may even get to Golem's next episode. I really don't know which way around I'm going to do it yet, but I will decide that later on. So, I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I hope it's been useful. As always, if people do have suggestions on better things, say for, say for example, better type of items to use as research rather than me using certain 
of certain items, then by all means, please do put them in the comments. I do appreciate you know people commenting on my videos and and uh, so that people can get like information on the best items really to use. I've done that, you know, I did that all at the start there, but like I said, Thorncraft is ever changing, it's ever getting updated, and it would be really, really nice if people could, you know, keep everyone else up to speed by just leaving a little comment. Um, and a nice one, please. You know, I get some, some idiots that comment and, you know, they're just not very nice at all. And, you know, it, it's taken a lot of work to 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 get these videos sorted and to... to um, really try and understand all the mod to be able to put it out for you guys so I hope that you're enjoying it as much as what I am and until next time stay safe